Hey there, Reverend Sully, Eric O'Sullivan, ordained on the internet, the caveat, as always, please do not burn your hands holding on to my hot takes. If you do, well, that's on you, pal. And welcome to Reverend Sully's Sunday Sermon. It's metaphor time. Let's see if you can figure it out along with me. Um, I am allergic to cats. I have asthma. It's specifically about the cats is their dander, their saliva, and their claws. You know, because of their litter box and their claws, I get a little scratch. It'll puff up and then my neck and then my lungs. And it's like drowning from the inside out. You know, as an asthmatic, the, uh, the capacity of your lungs go from this much volume to like this much volume. It's terrible. I wouldn't wish it on an enemy. But there are cats in my life, like such as my downstairs neighbor has a wonderful cat. She's so nice and loving and just wants attention. And I talk to her and, and um, my best friend, his daughter has two cats. And you know what? They travel often and I'll go, I'm tasked to be kitty uncle. I'll go over there and feed the cats and take care of their litter box, you know, with no problems. I can be in the same room with a cat for about 15, 20 minutes or so before, you know, my eyes start itching. I even um, learned the hard way that um, I had a cat. I had a cat for years. I loved my cat. Um, and Okay, the, the story is I knocked up my girlfriend and we got it taken care of. Yet afterwards, yeah, she was in a very bad place. So she came home one day with a kitten. How could I say no? But um, when we broke up and she moved back home to California, I was stuck with the cat. And around this time, I started getting my asthma attacks again. This was in my mid, mid-20s. mid um, and I'd met another girl after that, and we lived together, and of course, such as every relationship in my life, they leave me, and uh, usually for someone else, and um, she took the cat with her, thank goodness, because I couldn't take my beloved best friend with me on my journey, and my asthma attacks stopped, so it's kind of like the books, my best friend was my nemesis all this time. But where's this going? Um, so I figured out my my allergy to cats and their impact on my life. So I decided consciously to stay away from cats. You know, um, love them, but they're going to get me sick. They're going to have an adverse of impact on my health and the quality of my life. So it's best to stay away from cats. Um, yet, I need to coexist with cats in my life. And, you know, that's about it. You know, I just, I can't allow cats in my home. Sure. But I have to negotiate the cats in my life. Because I do have cats in my life. So, what's an asthmatic to do? What do you do when you have legitimate allergies and a legitimate bad impact on your life from just the existence of another life form. What do you do? Well, anybody with a legitimate allergy, whether it be asthma or even say triggers when it comes to having emotional problems or even being post-traumatic, you need to reconcile your allergies with the world. I've heard this also discussed as with diabetes. Like a diabetic needs to make a, a bargain with themselves in the world that they need to negotiate their diet and avoid sugars and alcohols to live. So I need to negotiate the cats in my life. Where is this going? How is how does this matter? 
Well, the sermon part, the, the metaphor, I guess. Yes, cats, to me, are a threat to my existence, legitimately. So what do I do? I limit my exposure to them. They're not allowed in my home. Yet, I still talk to them. I still ni I'm still nice to them. When I see the cat downstairs, I always say good morning. How you doing today? And she wants to, you know, rub against my leg or even run into the house as soon as I open the door. And it's not going to happen because I don't allow it. Yet, I coexist with these mammals, creatures, pets that could easily threaten my life in a legitimate way. So, what's this got to do with anything? Well, what do you do when it comes to people who think differently than you? People who feel differently than you? People who hold different beliefs than you? Are they a legitimate threat to your life and way of life? Can you coexist with these people that you're allergic to? And what are you doing about it? Can you coexist with them? Yes, you can. Can you make conditions in your life and boundaries? Yes, you can. Are you going to be mean to to, to, to like am I going am I going to be mean to cats and like kick them? Or, um, you know, just like be just because of my allergies, because of my condition, does that give me permission to treat these loving, living creatures with hostility and with apathy and with abject rage to be like, oh, all cats are evil because I'm allergic to them? No. That doesn't hold. That doesn't scan. So, therein ends the sermon. So, what are you allergic to? Specifically, who are you allergic to? Politically? Ideologically? Spiritually? Remember, these are, in a way, are your allergies. And what are you doing to protect yourself? your home, your life, your health, yet, are you making an effort to coexist and, sh and, and, and be positive and to, well, basically not be a caustic jerk just because your unique set of circumstances are not compatible with this other life form? It's food for thought. And it's something I think about and hopefully maybe make an impact with you by sharing my little personal metaphor. Cats, how are they different from someone that doesn't share your ideology or someone that doesn't share your beliefs? It's food for thought. And that's the Sunday Sermon from Reverend Sully. If you like this content, well, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this content, well, give me a thumbs down. I'm a big lad. I can handle it. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Start a conversation. And uh, give me a subscribe if you'd like. YouTube's been purging sub subscribers lately. And uh, so if you're not subscribed, well, give me a subscribe. I, I offer positivity in pop culture, the occasional rant, and I also make cooking videos, and I'm an ordained minister. I talk about spirituality, theology, and I also have a weekly Sunday sermon. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Namaste. And, you know, it's upon us, ourselves, to do something about our allergies. This is a metaphor. And take it as you will. Thank you so much. God bless.